And finally... Yeah, the boss stones themselves. Yes. So, the boss stones... Mm. Oh... You were worried that like, a little bit by how good the previous ads were that, yeah. that, that the boss weren't gonna weren't gonna Yeah, I mean re, like uh, there's be the champions. A, yeah, there's always a bit of a concern that um when you've got really strong support bands, you'll you'll possibly end up liking them more than you do the main band. Um that has happened to me before. Um, mm. Jo Quayle, she was doing support for um, Heilung, who was sort of very ambient, um, mm. sort of Germanic sort of influence and all that sort of thing. Um, they're very sort of tribal yeah. music, and I actually mu enjoyed Jo Quayle's music much more. Mm. So I was, I was a bit concerned that that might happen. But this, not today. Yeah, not, not today. today. Like, the first three bands were amazing, and the Boss Stones were sort of like, right, we better make sure we're putting on our S-rank game. Yeah. Yes, I had to get in another nerdy reference. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, their set was fantastic. They included a whole lot of songs from, like, their, their newest album. Yeah. Uh, like they, uh, if only I had the box here so I could just describe, say the titles, but I think they, they're, like... Like they Green Bay, had Wisconsin. Half the album, they? Yeah, well, Green Bay, Wisconsin. Uh, they they had Hugo's wife laid in the thing. They had uh, oh, um, I can't remember. I, my brain is gone. They had like five of them. Yeah, yeah. Which um, is about the, 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 the the day of the race or something. Yeah, like day, uh, day the, a wonderful day, a wonderful day for the race. Yeah. yeah. Um, that one in particular is was a, is a real winner from that album as yeah. we talked about before. Um, honestly, I thought, you know, because we talked about the album already, didn't we? But yeah. For the most recent album. I felt like the ones they played, I mean, those were already ones that I think we liked a lot from yeah. that album. But they shot out a lot better live. Yeah. Like, especially Hugo's Wife, which, um, in the context of the album, feels a bit odd. It feels a bit off-kilter with well, everything else. I think it's, it's quite chilled out, isn't it? And it's, it's kind of before the, like, the, the, the last one. And yeah. I don't know, I feel like, uh, b -b 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 Whereas no, no real complaints so much as just kind of... There are a couple timing. of moments where we went, I like this song, but mm. I'm not sure about it with the rest of the album. Well, yeah. In any case, but, uh, yeah, all the songs they have from that, from that they played from uh, the, their most recent album were, fan from were fantastic. And they had, uh, they had several songs from Let's Face It, which of course is their most well-known album. So, mm. they, you know, we had... Uh, uh, one, two, eight. We had the Rascal King. We had Noise, uh, Noise Brigade, and uh, we can't really go without the impression that I get, which where they played. That was just before they did the encore, mm. and they brought. They, on... well, was a, they did some special stuff at that, didn't they? Yeah. So you had the brass section from Barstool the Barstool Preachers, the Barstool Preachers, mm. and you had the front woman from um... Sonic Boom Six. Yeah. Which uh, I gather a lot of people will probably find very exciting. I found, you know, I, I only really got into sort of hearing about Sonic Boom 6 today, that, but it, I found it very exciting. If people yeah. knew, for people who know about both, I'm sure that was kind of a huge deal. Yeah. yeah. Because uh, she was contributing quite a bit to that song vocally. I yeah. Thought. And uh, yeah, no, it was, it was a good match. Um, I find, in, I think in Scar, when, when, Scar, when you get duets with a man and a woman, they, it's, it's it's really good, Re yeah. really really good. Like, um, well, it's the, it's the rhythm of the voice and everything like that. that yeah, really... it's the back and forth and the kind of adjusting kind of sound. Like, Scar sort of has a very kind of like uh, a lot of the time when you're talking about Scar punk music, it feels to me, me personally, of course, I can't. I'm not gonna say like objectively, but like um, you get kind of a kind of a balance. Like you get the sort of the very bouncy stuff with the Scar guitar and mm. and uh, horns if you have them, uh, keyboard if you have one. And, and then you they get have the, all of that in the Boston. And they have all of that in the Boston. They are huge. Nine people. Uh, so I counted because they had guitar. They had okay. So well, it depends whether you count the uh, the guy that that the hype there? man. I suppose the hype man. He he contributed. Yeah. He contributed. That guy was oh, super hype. Um, I'm not saying he didn't. No. It's just the easiest way to describe him is hype man. Yes. Sl so slash they, back so you list. got. Yeah. I'm not very good with names. So. 
excuse me, cool guy, because you were very awesome. Yeah. But my brain is not working at the moment. Dicky Barrett is the only name I can remember. He he's a front man. He was. Uh, it's been a long time since like they were like, since their heyday in the nineties. But oh wow, his voice holds up. He is, he, his sort of he's very sort of kind of gruff, isn't he? So sort yeah. of kind of very aggressive, aggressive in a kind of a friendly kind of way. I guess yeah. sort of very it's, kind of. It's kind of it's the really friendly drunk guy. That, the guy who's calling over to you in the pub. Yeah, like, yeah. Hey, but well, I can't pretend to imitate that. My yeah. voice just went dead. Um, but yeah. I could wet if I, because this is the rare instance where I didn't end up with a really sore throat like yeah. I'm impersonating Russell mm. Crowe. But yeah, no. So there's Dicky Barrett. There's Super Hype Man. I think it was Ben. And then Sandy began with a C. Oh. It's a shame I can't remember. I was. I feel like I'm getting close. I Maybe. I will include the names in the comment in the description. So. Mm. But, well, yes. Um, but they had, uh, gu you know, they had a guitar, a bass, um, trombone, yeah. two saxophones. I don't know whether they were like different sorts or whatever. They sounded the same to me, but maybe I'm being an idiot. You, you'd have the normal saxophone and the tenor sax. That'll be that then. And a guy on keyboard and a guy on drums. Okay, so that's a lot. Dicky Barrett, hype guy, brass section, drums, keyboardist, bass, guitar. Okay. Yeah. Nine. It's uh, uh, it's uh, one uh, of. It's one of those cases of needing to just... Um, I mean, it's not an indicator of quality, but you kind of know when you've got that many members in a scar band, you're going to have a really nice full sound. Yeah. Well, and that's what you got. Well, the important thing is there was no dead weight. No. Which, which you have had a bit of a problem of that with some other ska bands, like the Aquabats had to cut down the uh, members. Well, I, th I think that stuff was always was always good, but it was a matter of in that case it was a matter of strain, like yeah. simply because the guy was writing songs and then desperately trying to think of uh, brass section, which is why they're no longer a ska band, I guess. Mm. But you know, that's just that's not necessarily dead weight so much as just needing to explore something new. Mm. Um, and any stuff is great. I can't wait for the new album. <laughs> Hopefully, maybe we can do something about that. Yeah, I mean, that'll be back to... Because he lives in York, that would be back to the standard podcast uh, format, but... Or, I mean, we I po we possibly could manage some sort of camera thing for oh, that, yeah. but... We could do, we could do. We'll see how we go. Yeah. I suppose it'll... I mean, plenty of people do video stuff. Oh, yeah, I'm sure they do. Um... But uh, yeah, no. So uh, they were v they were very good, and the the audience just came alive, yeah. didn't they? I mean, we, we, we everyone was getting really pumped um, during the during got, each of the support bands. But when it came to the Boston's, it was just <laughs> yeah. It was it was a little out of control. Like the 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 the, the security could hardly handle the sheer number of crowd surfers. Yeah, I, well, it wasn't quite that. I mean, well, I don't know. It, it was uh, a lot. Yeah, there were there were a fair few uh, crowd surfers, Every which time. was one of those crowd surfers. That was... Okay. Yeah, no, you definitely get it. And yeah. um, it's just I'm more used to seeing crowd surfers at rock and metal gigs, so it's one of those. Mm. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. Well, I think it's one of those things that's going to happen just about anywhere, isn't it? Probably. Uh, didn't have it at garbage, but... Well, they're probably not going to get... Well, okay, they're probably going to be accepted. You're not going to get it at a... I, I doubt Genesis got very many crowd surfers. <laughs> I, I... <laughs> I'm just imagining sort of like crowd surfing for a prog rock song. It's just... Yeah. Back when Genesis were a prog rock band and actually good. I mean, what? Whatever. But... That's uh... a bit of a change my opinion type thing. You're not going to... Yeah, yeah. Genesis so, were better with Peter Gabriel. Mm. Um, but um, yeah, no, it was it was very energetic. Uh, it seemed like a lot of people in the in the audience were very were very you know. There's knowing a man's songs, and then everyone was practically singing. Practically everyone in the crowd was singing along with yeah. every bit of every song. I mean, I, even I was doing it, and I've only got cursory experience of ska. Oh yeah, like a lot of it was very easy to latch onto if you can remember it. Like I've, I've, like I've listened to a few Boston's albums, but I haven't listened to all of them by any by any stretch of the oh, imagination. How many have they got? It must be quite a few. Quite a few, although they were they were gone for about a decade. So, huh. 
You know, it's interesting they, because that's because about... you know I, I found I found out about them when I was in high school. I, so I think that would have been about two thousand. I think I found them out about them in either two thousand six or two thousand seven. And I, I, from what I remember, I remember looking them up on Wikipedia because like. What, what do I what do I find? What give me more albums? Give me give me more info. And I find out like I sc scoot over to Wikipedia and find out ah they broke up a few months ago. Bow, 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 you know, bow. there's finding out about a band went you know after it split up, and then there's finding out like a couple of months too late, and then it's just like by an inch, by an inch. So I know. So it was a real it was a real treat. Like finding out that they were bad together was amazing, and then finding out I was actually going to be able to see them live. Yeah. Astounding. Yeah, because it was basically a case of I saw, I saw a post on Facebook, and it was a case of Richard, come quickly, you, I need you. You can keep up with dates and things like that. Yeah. I never, I always miss things like uh, Real Big Fish were performing down here, uh, like last week, and I, com I completely missed it until like it was already going to be way too late. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I would have been up for that as well, but... Well, and uh, they're supposed to be coming along in uh, November. Yeah. This is where I hope that it doesn't clash with um, seeing Lacuna Coil. And I cry about however much money I've got. Maybe I'll be lucky about it. Maybe I'll have money by then. Yeah. Maybe. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. But, um, yeah, no, all, overall it was a very solid package filled with very passionate people, both on the stage and off the stage. Yeah. Uh, there was even a moment where you had someone um, someone in the audience sing some of the words. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think, I'm not sure if they lost a bit of confidence. Was, uh, uh, yeah, no, uh, it was... I, I'm not sure if it was a bit of a confidence break or because, because of exhaustion, which either of those is perfectly viable and there's no shame if that happened, because... Yeah, that was... A very, a very... Like, like to give you an idea of how it's been here, the low temperature tonight. Yeah. Is, it was very hot. It was very long. Yeah, the low temperature there was 28 degrees. Uh, which 28 degrees Celsius, which in Fahrenheit is like, it's like 50... That's like 88 degrees Fahrenheit. I imagine there were a lot of people who met... Uh, some of the people across the pond who measure the temperature in Fahrenheit, that doesn't mean much necessarily if you're in certain states yeah, well, like California in, or something. Yeah, my mate in California is just going to be laughing at me, sort of like, but, oh, you're complaining about that, and then I'll tell him about the high being 34 in England. Well, yeah, well, yeah, for a, for a, for a, for a bonglander, that ain't right. Yeah. That is not right. And if we're really unlucky, we'll get 40 degrees in a few weeks. Or a few days, depending on things. Because uh, yeah. France had 40 degrees and the hot air is coming over there. Bloody and foreign air. Our countries, I say, deported and given a revoke its visa. Yeah. If you hadn't guessed, we are massive lefties, so... Well, not massive lefties, but we're left of centre. Mod moderately, moderately lefty. Yeah. But yeah, well, whatever. But um, Which is kind of fitting, I guess, because ska punk bands, well, ska bands in general, generally somewhat lefty in their, in their messaging. Like, I mean, Boston's... Uh... Well, all three of the ska bands were definitely left. Oh, yes, absolutely. And uh, they weren't afraid to let us know it. Yeah. Um, but the funny thing is, like, some bands, I've found myself going, okay, I can appreciate the message you're giving, but you're going a bit hard with it. Hmm. I don't think any of them really uh, overstayed their welcome with that at all. Yeah. At all. Um, that was very, but yeah, you know, that's, it's nice. It's yeah. nice. Everyone was super chill. Yeah. And, uh... And it was a lot of fun. We got to actually say hi to a couple of... So the front man and the guy from who is from Worthing. Yes, Europe, yes. In um the uh in uh Bastel Patri uh Bastel Preachers even. even though I'm from even though I'm from Worthing, maybe I shouldn't have dunked on Worthing that hard when I said oh wow. I thought there wasn't anything interesting in Worthing. <laughs> of course one thing that's funny is um during one of his spoken segments, thanking us all for coming out on Saturday because there's a lot of things to do. I, like, I couldn't help but yell, not really. Well, not when you're trying to get the last train back, certainly there yeah. isn't anyway. Well, I mean, let's face it, for us, there isn't a much in, 
that much in London that holds interest. Hell so. yeah, and does video games. <laughs> Plug me into that virtual reality machine, just let me, let me write. <laughs> Act, well, I don't know, I mean, we both watched Star Trek, that's just, you don't want to do that. Hell, we've both seen the Better Than Life episode of Red Dwarf. Yeah. Oof. Mm. And we both read the Better Than Life book. Well, yes. But, uh, yeah, no, it was, a, yeah. Good evening, great music. Yeah. Um, definitely want to go to another one by them. Yeah. Mm. Like, it's one of those cases of, if I could, I'd probably drag him along to Bristol to see their next show, but <laughs> that's not really viable for either of us because I've got to edit together this video tomorrow. And, and I have no money. Yeah. Well, you're scraping by at the moment. Oh, yeah. But um, on the matter of money, it's that's me. actually, we can do a bit of end of video shilling because all we can say for the last, where the Boston's and all the other bands mentioned are concerned is if any of them are in your area. Go see them. Yeah. Definitely go see them, 100%. Yeah, you're not going to regret it. You're going to have a lot of fun. I don't care what genre of music you're into unless you absolutely vehemently hate Scar, then they're all worth going to. Yeah, you won't just like magically sprout a chain wallet so you don't need to worry. <laughs> I mean, I already had a chain wallet, so... Oh yes, yeah, now, now he reveals himself. <laughs> Turns out I've been a Sleeper Scar fan for many years. Actually, I've never... Just, just, he, he rises from his bed every night saying, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. <laughs> Actually, the funny thing is, that's one of the few genres, aside of, aside from metal, that when I was younger I was quite into. So, oh, really? Yeah. How about that? Um, mainly, uh, again, we get to Two-Tone and the second wave of Scar is because of bands like Madness and Selector oh, yeah. and Special AKA. I found out about them sort of in my teenage years, mm. and uh, it was one of those, oh, there's actually other things aside from metal and Weird Al. Well, yeah. I mean, like, uh, I think we've all, like, had a bit of, you know, there are certain ways that people found out about things, and I, th I don't think either of us necessarily went f found out the same ways as a lot of other people in our generation did, which is to say, you know, we're, I was talking to you earlier and you didn't know who Goldfinger was because you have sadly never experienced the joys of Tony Hawk's pro skater as a child. <laughs> he has never played horse. Um... And there's a reason for that, I didn't grow up with a console, so... Mmm... As far as I'm aware, Tony Hawk's never released any of his pro skater games on PC. We're gonna have to edit that in, after we've Googled that, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. We just see a big flash of the PC version, and it's sort of like, oh... Ooh. Yeah. Okay, then. But yeah, no, no. So, uh... A lot of good. A lot of good. Um, but yeah... Uh, just as a tail off um, on the matter of making money off our own backs and doing things that might interest people, um, I've been recently working on Hammerbeat stuff and all the sort of pixel art things. Um, I'm trying to get more sort of band logos and whatnot done. I'll include a few links to various ones that I've done in the description. This is going to be a very link-heavy episode. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'll... And this one, he's... I, I make Weeaboo-themed bakery for... Um, uh, and for those in the cheap seats, what does Weeaboo mean? A fan of Mongolian Shadow Puppet Theatre, which is just... You, you like, you're an anime fan. Yes. You're an anime fan. I like, I like making video game and anime-themed baking. My baking is good. It tastes good, and you'll feel sad when you look at the beautiful picture on it and eat it. <laughs> but first, like, take pictures of it and stuff for, like, Facebook or whatever you want to do mm. with it first. Uh, even that, if sounded, it... that, sounded, well, that sounded bad. Yeah. Yeah, no, um, no, 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 no. No H-rated no cookies or anything. Yes. We're we sensible here. We're sensible gentlemen. Yes, we don't want to... No. We don't want to learn that we were somehow responsible for the second coming of Limp Biscuit. In any case, I... <laughs> in any case, if you like Magical Girls or... Uh, I guess Super Robots or that... Or, you know... Anything anime related and also like also like biscuits. Look me up on either Instagram or Twitter or Pixiv. 
Uh, links in the description. Oda Cuisine, yeah. I'll I'll probably include a link, sort of the address in <laughs> the video yeah, itself. Yeah, sure, or whatever. Add yeah. some sparkles to it. Yeah, shielding done, I guess. Um, yeah, uh, both of us are open for commissions. Is ba is basically, if we can work out some way to do it, we will. Mm. Uh, even if it ends up being a case of, okay, so this this logo that I want to do, I can't do the lettering by by hammer bead. I will do it by making a stencil and spray painting mm. it. And in his case, um, you've got. I mean, you need to fix it, but you well, got yes. Once to... Well, yes, it should be fairly easy to fix, uh, but yes, I, I'm currently repairing my 3D printer, which I use to make the cutters and whatnot, so that should be done soon. Yeah. Keep an eye out, I guess. Yeah, um, aside from our shilling, uh, there's not much to report. I uh, don't know what the next review will be. It, I'm just going to be going through what's going to be coming up. Mm. I mean, this is, like, this is un again unprecedented for me because this is the closest two reviews have been to each other in quite some time yeah because hmm. we we only had a few days ago the review of baroness's album mm. and now we've got the, re the review of this show but yeah so all i can say with any degree of certainty is that when it comes out supposedly that's going to be on the 30th of august mm. I say supposedly because this is Tool we're talking about, and anyone who knows Tool knows the delays that we've had to go through for over the past 13 years. Oof. I know Oof. I'm, I'm actually sounding quite aggressive about that, which is funny because I only got into them in the last three years. <laughs> Songs of joy through gritted teeth. Yeah. Uh, it's... it's Increasingly frustrating because of the fact that we had a perfect circle release mm. and a perfect circle is headed by the same guy. Yeah. So it's one of those if they, if you can release a perfect a new a perfect circle album, why can't you release Tool? But none the more for my ranting. We've had great experiences tonight. Scar isn't dead apparently. Yeah. Much like point and click adventure games aren't dead. As yeah, much. As contrary as people might want you to believe, in both cases. Mm. But yeah, we had a lot of fun and three new bands that we both want to experience oh, yeah. more of. That's it for this episode. Great fun is the impression that we got. Yeah, great impression is what we got. We got a great impression. You realise I'm going to have a wonderful that day. <laughs> yeah.